Hey all, welcome on another Dave Downey Fly Tying Video Production. Here I'll be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for you guys around the world and also making tying these flies easier with my different styles and techniques. All the flies that I'm tying are personally used, they all catch fish, they're not there to just catch the angler. At the end of each of the video I have a wee list of materials required to tie the flies just in case you missed it during the video and also a link to the online shop where you can purchase the flies and the materials required to tie these killer patterns. Hope you enjoy the videos, hope you pass on the word to your mates, your fishing pals, get them to come and have a look at the channel, see if they want to stay, maybe subscribe, hit the like button, uh, hit the bell for notifications so that the next videos that come up you're going to get notified. So today I'm going to be tying a little dial back that I, 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 I use on the Lake of Teeth in Rutland. Uh, it's pretty simple-ish but it's not that simple. So basically what we've got is we've got a B405 in there just now, right? So, it's a 405 size 12, it's barbed, you can use a 1530 or a, a fully mill hook or you can use barbless hooks, it's really up to yourself, but I tie them normally on size 12s or 175s, it's really your choice. We're going to need some thread using the burnt on stuff, so I'll just tie that on just now then I'll show you the rest of the materials and we'll just trim that off. We're going to need some red game cock hackle, so that's going to be getting used for, for basically the tail and the thorax. We're going to be using some UTC Mirage Medium Opal. For the rib, what I'm going to use is some pink wire. You can use pink, you can use red, it's really your choice. For the body, good old peacock herald. No, just standard uh, and then I'm going to use a little bit of a UV, it's a Sally Hansen product resin, it's Luna Pearl but it's got like, UV through it so it's a pearly UV so we're going to use that with the lamp so we'll, we'll take the thread on first and we'll run down the hook shank so first of all we want to get the tail in and the important thing about this is you do it in the right obviously in the right order so put the tail in first ok, catch that in bind it down so it's sitting a bit flatter ok and we'll go forward a little bit I'll trim that off ok the next thing it needs to get in is actually the wire right, put the wire in next so we'll catch that in, we'll go forward another little bit you notice how I'm not going completely forward I don't want to use tons and tons of thread so next thing is is the UTC Mirage so I'm going to tie that in on the side and I'm going back the way now so trim that and we'll take it onto the other side as well so I've actually got two pieces so I want to make sure they stay at the sides ok right, then I'll we'll just loosely go back up with the thread I don't have to do touch and turns, just go back up loosely and back down and the next part we want a couple of peacock bits don't worry if it's too bushy because we're going to trim it anyway that doesn't sound right but you know yeah I'll go forward with that. Now there's two ways of doing this. We can wrap it around the thread, which I'm going to do because that will make it stronger. But I'm also going to put some varnish on the body of the fly. Right, because peacock hair is not exactly the strongest of materials to work with. So we'll wrap that around the thread. I'm just holding the bobbin in my left hand and winding this round then we can just wrap it around right and trim it up a little bit then unwrap it and tie it off now what we need to do next obviously I'm going to do my little standard work finish And then 
with the uh, UTC, we pull that up the sides and tie it in. Okay, and we pull it up that side and tie it in. Alright, so that's it on both sides. Now I want to make sure it's sitting right before I trim it. Because you're not going to get another chance at it. Now that one's not sitting properly, it's too far up. So I'm going to manoeuvre it back down a bit. Okay. And then just cut them off. Alright. Let's do another wet finish. And at this point, I can see that's hanging down, so we're going to trim that back. And the same on the top. So you're just basically trimming it almost level with the UTC Mirage. So that's how it's got our flashes on the side. Okay. Next thing we want to do is just rib the whole thing. Now this wire is 0.1 millimeter, so you do need to be don't be too heavy-handed with it, or else you will break it because it's not super strong. Okay, and tie that in. See, hardly needed a shake to get it to break. Right, I'm just going to tidy that head up a little bit. Right. Now, I'm going to turn the hook round, because we're going to do the, the beer tackle. So using the same feather that we use for the tail, we'll get the beer tackle sorted out. Right, catch it in. Now I always start with the thread at the furthest bit back, nearest the body. That way it allows you to cut the excess off a lot easier, if it's too close to the eye. So we want to trim this off now. Right. Okay. And take that out, turn it back round. Now we need to do a bit of tidy up, so we're going to catch that all in and pull that beer tack up and pull it out of the way. Now that's it, that's basically the fly. Obviously, if you want that sitting a bit higher up, you'll need to go further back with the thread. So we can just whip finish. tie it off. Now, we could use a floss over the top of that if we wanted a brighter head. See, it's going to give us a brighter head, but I'm not going to bother. I'm quite happy with that burnt orange colour. So what I want to do now is get well, Sally Hansen's, chance to say it's a UV resin, and just down the back. We're only dabbing it on slightly. Then get my UV lamp. Should have made sure the eye was clear before I put the lamp on it. It is. And you basically get a little bit of UV down the back now. It's hard to see with the camera. And you can put another, we'll put another coat on it. 
right? So you should just dabbing it on. And we just leave that and put hit it with the torch again. Oh, if we can get the torch to come over here. Yeah, it's difficult to see. I'm trying to let's see if we can zoom in a wee bit. Yeah, that's not really giving me it. Basically it gives it a UV back on it. So now we've out of focus on the main flight. So I hope you like that. It's just a little simple dial back. But I use only like giving teeth and rotten places like that. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Get your mates to come and have a wee look and take care, stay safe, go and check me out, website www.fly-fishingworld.com Check me out on Facebook for regular updates and Instagram, it's David C. Downey or Instagram's Dave Downey Fly Fishing. So stay safe, take care, enjoy your fishing, maybe see you out and about, bye for now.